Welcome back everyone to the day with Trey. I'm your host Trey Holiday. Joining me right now, we got a representative from the KD Hall Foundation. One of their program officers, Maria Falcon is in the building. What's up Maria? Hello, <laughs> it's lovely to be here. Yeah, so great to have you. We, we love being able to spotlight the work of KD Hall Foundation. Yes. And so before we get into some of that, tell us what your role is and what you do there. Yes, absolutely. So I am the program officer of the Girls on the Rise program which is a leadership program that we have at our South King County High Schools. And so far we, we are at two high schools. We're at Evergreen High School, we're at Why Not You Academy, which is that charter high school that Russell Wilson and Sierra uh, co-founded co -founded as well. And so I'm very um, happy to be at those two high schools and have this program be in person because previously it's ran for about five years, but it's um, been on like Zoom. It's had like the capacity of like an extracurricular if you um, want to view it as that. But this year it's more of like an in-school program that girls that are in that they participate in. And I see them once a week, Fridays, I see them and like feed them because I view that um, all girls and all students should be fed in the morning. I know like high school students are not eating and so and I know they perform a lot better when they are eating and so I'm happy to give that opportunity to them, have this program run for them, teach them like leadership skills and all those type of things and so yeah it's very exciting. Yeah well it sounds like you really are enjoying this. What brought you into this kind of work Maria? Yes absolutely so I am a recent um, UW graduate Go Huskies, um, I had to point it out. Um, but yeah, so I did a lot of first generation, low income, under resourced minority college work in my um, college days, I guess. And so that I ran a passion in doing because I also was one of those students. And so I recognized like all the work that um, goes into like raising those type of students and like getting um, a growth mindset, if you want to say it like that. And so I had a passion of, um, as well as teaching that, instructing that, and so I'm happy to continue that outside of college and land this position with KD Hall Foundation. I'm very grateful for my lovely boss, KD, <laughs> for um, seeing the opportunity in me, seeing the like capacity that I had to also bring in that energy to um, girls in high school and begin that type of work at like a younger age, because I've done it for college students. And so how do I start even sooner? So girls in high school is a good way to start and continue like what I love to do. And so I'm happy to do it. Yeah. And so that's how I started. Well, that's great, yes. you know, because I think oftentimes having um, something that is part of our own lived experience that brings us into any kind of work is mm -hmm. really a foundation for why we do the work we yes. do. And so I love hearing that that's like a passion of yours. Yes. Plus, you know, to be honest, I think that the, the, the students who are involved in any type of program like this, girls, young boys, in between, non-gender, non-binary, yes, yes. like they all need someone who really cares about it, yes. right? And that is sometimes the hardest yes. part to find, is someone who is really in the thick of it with them because you yes. care so much. It takes Absolutely. that. What are some of the ways that you're able to really kind of showcase that with the young girls you're working with? How do they receive, you know, the fact that you're really coming from a personal perspective when it comes yes. to this work and, and serving them? Absolutely, so I think what also helps is my age and that I kind of look their age. One of my students did think I was 18 years old and I was like wow okay great lovely but I think my age um, and the experiences that I also hold that are similar to their experiences in high school whether it's high school college and so on so I think the experiences that I can share with them the way that I validate and assure their experiences and what they go through as well um, I think that's like helps a lot with their growth if you want to look at, look at it like that yeah. and so yeah absolutely and so, you know, you talked a little bit about Girls on the Rise, and now yes. it's exciting because there's a leadership cohort. Yes. I want to talk a little bit more yes. about that. Tell us more about this leadership cohort. Yes, absolutely. So for a little context, the Girls on the Rise program is now taking place in high schools. That has ran for five years, and we now have an audience that has been previous Girls on the Rise members. And so we are accepting Girls on the Rise members to this leadership cohort, as well as any daughter, sister, niece, cousin, um, any passionate leadership forward, um, community driven lady, girl in the Seattle community, Washington state, wherever, um, on this side. Um, but we want to accept those ladies into a leadership cohort program, a three month program that is, um, it's also paid. So you can view it as like an internship program, but it is highly competitive because we are only accepting 10 girls. Mm. And so as we are accepting our previous Girls on the Rise members that we love and would love to have their involvement continue, we're also accepting girls that are still 
also actively passionate that want to continue like leadership skills as well. And so that being said, with it being competitive, we also have the it being paid. Mm -hmm. We have a $500 stipend that we are giving to our 10 girls that also, these 10 girls are helping us with like Katie Hall Foundation projects, like passion projects, along with our pillars. Um, our pillars are education, um, health and wellness, specifically sickle cell, as well as women and girls. And so that is why our programs are so centered with girls and education. So with this leadership cohort, these girls will be involved in those projects um, planning, event planning, uh, communication and outreach, especially to our community partners in Seattle. So they really do get to build and continue their leadership pro leadership skills, sorry, their mm -hmm. leadership skills that they've built with us and be able to continue it in a older like high school setting, college setting, as well as like a career setting. And so that is what the leadership cohort is about. And we're very excited for it to start um, March 1st. That is when our deadline of the application is due. So that's just a heads up for everyone. So get those applications in, please. I want to read them. But yeah, it starts March 1st and we will continue like having a interview process because we already have more than 10 girls that have already applied. So now we have to do this competitive um, process of interviewing them and get through like who is our best like fit for the program and see how that goes. And I'm very excited because Women's History Month is right around the, right around the corner. Women's International Women's Day is right around the corner. So to have this program start, in March and get it going. I'm very excited because then now they can participate in our things that are, we have planned for Women's National Women's Month. Nice. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Well, this is really exciting and, it, and it's serendipitous in terms of the timing. So yes. at the end of the week, y'all are closing applications yes. and it's important that folks know how they can apply. Like yes. if there are some young ladies out there who are like, man, this sounds like the opportunity for me or if others know about it. Of course, Maria, before yes. I let you go, I got to give you time to make sure we plug in all that ex in, important information so folks know how to take advantage of this amazing leadership cohort y'all yes. are building. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So you can apply through kdhallfoundation.org. That is our website. It's right on the homepage and learn more about our Girls on the Rise programs as well as our leadership cohort. We'd love to have you apply as well as just get to know you more. Um, as well, you can visit our Instagram at kdhall.foundation and use the link in our link tree to also apply. But yeah, very exciting. Would love to have you all. But yeah. <laughs> there we go, Maria. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. And thank you for bringing your dedicated passion to Katie Hall Foundation yes. for all of these amazing programs y'all got going on. Thanks so much for being here and giving me all the details. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. Absolutely. Y'all, I told you the inspiration continues because folks really are out here doing some fantastic work. And sometimes I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm learning about the work as y'all are learning. Of course, I get to wrap up all this inspiration right after this short break. Stay tuned, you're watching The Day with Trey.